Hello, this is Michael McCarthy, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about adjusting the smoke in Phoenix. We're going to continue on with our log scene that we were working on to adjust and talk about flames. And if you want to, you can continue on from there, or you can open the scene Phoenix Log Smoke 2010. We'll just go to about frame 25 and render out, and we can see that we have our smoke here. Now let's uh, select the simulator and under the rendering rollout down at the bottom we have colors and transparency so we'll bring this up and we're going to go into the diffuse color now Phoenix is a little bit different than some of the other interfaces that you may have worked on because uh, it really deals with kind of true light emission and how those colors happen and get brought to your eye in this case what we have is an emission color which means anything that's emitting light is going to be using these colors and a diffuse color which means once that process stops and it becomes diffuse it's going to start using the diffuse color and that equally correlates to a flame or smoke so our smoke pieces are going to use our diffuse color so I can go in to this simple color swatch and I can change it to anything that I might like so we'll just change it to blue and render it out and you see that we can easily adjust our smoke to be you know darker or lighter or any color that we wish so here's a nice dark blue and we can also make it just a really bright white for that real wispy white type of smoke okay and there are also ways that we can adjust this through uh, our source so using the simple color is a nice and fast way to adjust your smoke and you can also use different source channels so by default the temperature channel is the only thing that is exported or output as a source and we can use this to control our smoke with a gradient and we can also use the smoke channel we'll try both of these and we'll start off I guess with the temperature channel you'll see that when we pick anything else besides simple color we get a nice gradient to work with and the gradient has a couple of values that we can deal with you can see it goes from 0 to 4000 and the temperature is going to be mapped uh, the way that we set it between about 0 and 1800 so we can adjust and move any one of these pieces these little arrows to be at that point now if you ever want to know exactly where this arrow is at that point you can right click on it and go to edit and you can see its value here and we can also set it so for smoke the smoke is probably going to be anywhere between uh, completely cool which is zero and around 1000 which is kind of just before something's starting to ignite so we can set this side to be maybe about 1000 and we can set this side to be zero which it already is and now if we start to adjust these colors we're gonna have that map out so we'll set this to blue so basically this is going to be blue in the center and then start to fade off to white at the edges so we can see we have this nice blue and it's gonna fade off to white if you want to zoom in or out you can use alt and right click or left click on this gradient and that's gonna zoom you and you can also pan back and forth with the middle mouse button so that you can have a little more control so we can set this to you know something a little bit darker that's going to fade off to a gray and that way we can get some more control over our smoke now in this case like I said we're using our temperature channel and its values you can use any of the channels here but you do need to make sure that you export them so for instance if we click on smoke and we render this out you can see smoke will go between 0 and 1 because that's usually a good default for smoke but uh, I'll just bring this up to purple and we'll render it out and what you can see is while we have a gradient set up here the purple is not really present in the center and fading off to white and that's because this smoke channel isn't available so we need to export that smoke channel some way let's just uh, minimize this and go to our simulator and let's go to the output rollout and from here you can see the default output channels when you're simulating are just the temperature so uh, if you wanted to output smoke or UVs or anything else then you want to make sure that that is checked so we're gonna go and we're gonna check smoke here and we'll also go into our source and we're gonna enable um, some smoke so we'll just enable maybe one in the smoke and then we'll go back to our simulator and we will 
restart the simulation because now it needs to go through the process to output that channel. So we'll click on simulate and now you should actually see the smoke and how that is working right in the viewport as far as the preview is set up. And when we render this out, because we actually have that set up to go from purple to white, you're going to see that gradation now. We'll see the purple start to happen in here. So we'll let this simulate through for a couple frames. And I'm just going to stop it at around frame 20. We'll render this out and let's go back into our render properties. So here in the diffuse color you can see that um, we're mapping to the smoke channel which is between 0 and 1 because we set the smoke to 1 and uh, we can set these values to anything we like so we can set that to red and maybe to fade off to something like green and we can get some interesting not so realistic I guess depending on what you're burning effects in the smoke um, and you can also get more realism and customizability through this so uh, we'll bring this maybe down more to a gray on the outside and a lighter gray here on the inside and that's going to give us some kind of control over how we want our smoke to look. So that's how you can adjust the color with your smoke using just uh, simple controls, um, mapping it to the temperature channel as well as mapping it to the smoke channel and setting up your simulator in order to export the smoke channel so you have a valid channel in order to map the color of the smoke too. Thank you very much.